एवरीवन आई एम लावना फ्रॉम लेक्सिस एंड कंपनी टुडे आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट रेस्ट जुटिकाटा व्हाट इज रेस्ट जुटिकाटा रेस्ट हेव मींस द सब्जेक्ट मैटर एंड जुटिकाटा मींस एडजस्ट और डिसाइडेड एंड टुगेदर इट मेक्स अ मैटर एज टच इन सिंपल वर्ड्स द थिंग दैट हैज ऑलरेडी बीन जज्ड बाय द कोर्ट द इशू बिफोर द कोर्ट हैज ऑलरेडी बीन डिसाइडेड एंड बिटवीन द सेम पार्टी Hence, the court will dismiss the case as it has been decided by the another court. Res judicata applies to both civil and criminal legal systems. No suit which has been directly or indirectly tried in a former suit can be tried again. For example, A suit B, as he didn't pay the rent, B pleaded for lessening of the rent on the ground as the area of land was less than the mentioned on the lease. The court found out that the area was greater than the shown on the lease. The area was excess, and the principles of res judicata will not be applied. Now, what are the principles under Res Judicata? It seeks to promote the fair administration of justice and honesty to prevent law from the abuse. The prerequisites of Res Judicata are a judicial decision by proficient court or tribunal, final and binding order, any decision made on merits, a fair hearing, earlier decision rights or wrongs are not relevant. Now, what is the nature and scope of Res Judicata? It involves two concepts of claim preclusion and issue preclusion. Issue preclusion is also known as the collateral estoppel. Parties cannot sue each other again after the final judgment on the basis of the merit has reached in the civil litigation. Not even in a different court with the same facts and the events. The scope has been decided in the Gulam Abbas vs. State of Uttar Pradesh. In this case, the court incorporated the rules as the evidence as a plea of issue, which was already tried in the earlier case. The principle of res judicata is founded upon the principles of justice, equity, and good consent. Now, failure to apply. When a court fails to apply the res judicata and renders a divergent verdict on the same claim or issue, and if the third court faces the same issue, it will apply as a last time rule. Now, what is the doctrine of res judicata? It it follows the doctrine of double jeopardy, which is just given under the constitution. Section 11 of CPC incorporates the doctrine of res judicata as the rule of conclusiveness of the judgment. The doctrine of res judicata says that no person should be disputed twice for the same reason. It is state that decides there should be an end to end litigation. A judicial decision must be accepted as the correct decision. Now, what is the constructive res judicata? It is an artificial form of res judicata. It provides that if a plea has been taken by a party in a proceeding between him and the defendant, he will not be permitted to take pleas against the same party in the same following proceeding with reference to the same matter. Now, what is the difference between res judicata and estoppel? Estoppel flows from the act of the parties, whereas res judicata is the result of decision of the court. Estoppel proceeds upon the doctrine of equity, whereas res judicata bars multiplicity of the suits. Estoppel is the rule of evidence, whereas res judicata expels jurisdiction of the court. Res judicata forbids the person entering the same thing twice in the litigations, and estoppel prevents the person from saying two opposite things at the same time.